hang out with everybody, and I, I was just going through it. What, what was the nature of your relationship with Tory Lanez? Because he has led, led people to believe that it was a sexual relationship, that it was, uh, that you two were dating. What was the nature we of We were your... not dating. We what were really name? close. We were friends. We hung out, like, every day. And his mom passed, too. So mm -hmm. when I felt like we were bonding over, over that. that. Mm -hmm. And... Did you have an intimate relationship with him? Like, sexual? Yeah, yeah. Did you have... <laughs> did you... Megan, <laughs> did you have a sexual relationship with Tory Lanez? Yes, that's my question. Um... I didn't have a sexual relationship with Tory. So why do you think he's putting out the story that the two of you had a relationship and that you're making the whole thing up? I think that he is trying to deflect from the fact that he c committed a crime. All right, guys. So the Believe All Black Women crowd uh, is going to take a W, right? They're going to take a W and you're going to hear a whole lot of stuff about how you should believe all black women and black women's feelings matter. <laughs> I'm not saying they don't. I'm not saying you shouldn't believe black women. But again, it, it, it's going to be um, a lot of that, <laughs> right, over the next few days as Tory Lanez has been found guilty of shooting Meg the Stallion, a high-profile case that has been going on here for a couple of years. Some of you guys may be familiar with this case. Some of you guys may not be. I've talked about it one time before. And now that there's a conclusion for this case, I, I want to talk about it again because there are lessons to take away from this, specifically as a man, <laughs> right? And how to avoid situations like this because all too often, men find themselves in unfavorable situations like this chasing vagina, <laughs> right? Which is exactly what happened to Tory Lanez. And now this guy, who's a successful rapper, uh, is facing being deported and time in prison because he got himself involved with two very promiscuous women who also happen to be best friends or friends. And we all know that situations like that always end up in, in a disaster. And I think Tory Lane and what is happening to him is a good lesson for men that you will never, ever, ever get the benefit of the doubt in a situation like this. Uh, it is an uphill battle. Therefore, it is best for you to avoid situations like this at all costs because again as a man you will never never get the benefit of the doubt in a situation like this no matter how much women lie right no matter how much it is clearly obvious that the woman is lying she's been proven to lie about multiple things doesn't matter you will always get the blame every time and that's not to say i'm taking anybody's side on this because quite honestly i have no clue what happened there's so many contradictions uh to this story i really don't care I know enough that I can take away a lesson, right? A, a very valuable lesson from this situation. And, and that's the whole point of this video. So it's not going to be heavily intensive on who said what and what happened, who's lying, who's not lying. I don't care because the parts that we know are true, um, again, are enough to come away with, with a conclusion about how this situation could and should have been avoided if Tory Lanez would have just uh, exited out of this situation. Uh, before it got to this point and not involved itself with these type of women in the first place uh, So without further ado, uh, just in case you guys aren't familiar with kind of what went down the story here uh, I want to play a, a clip from uh, Meg Thee Stallion and, and Gail King's interview in which, you know, she's sobbing and crying Except she doesn't have any tears coming out her eyes But anyways, uh, she is crying telling Gail King what happened, her side of the story And how she got shot by Toy Lanes. Just briefly walk us through what happened that night It starts here at a party at Kylie Jenner's house. I uh, had went there and we were just hanging out and I was ready to go because I had been there all day. So you guys end up in a car, you, Tory Lanez, your friend at the time, Kelsey, and his driver slash security. Mm -hmm. Tory Lanez, whose real name is Daystar Peterson, is a Grammy nominated rapper and singer from Canada. Kelsey Harris, was one of Megan Thee Stallion's best friends from Houston. There was an argument and you get out of the car, right? At that point, the argument wasn't even with me. Like, the argument was with the two people in the back seat. So I asked the driver to pull the car over. Like, I'm done with this. And I should have stayed out of the car. Like, I should have not got back in the car. Mm -hmm. And they was like, Megan, just get back in the car. We almost there. Like, just get back in. Mm -hmm. So I get back in the car. 
it's like it's getting worse. The like, arguing in the car. The arguing in the car is getting worse, and I don't want to be in this car no more. Like, because I see it's getting crazy. Mm -hmm. So I get out the car, and it's like everything happens so fast. Yeah. And all I hear is this man screaming. Is he said dance? And he starts shooting, and I'm just like, oh my god! <laughs> like he shot a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And I, I so was is so he scared. in the car shooting from the car, Megan? He is he? standing up over the window okay. shooting. Uh -huh. And I didn't even want to move. I didn't want to move too quick. Like, cause I'm like, oh my God, if I take the wrong step, I don't know if he can shoot something that's like super important. I don't know if he could shoot me and kill me. Like, Were you afraid for your life at that I time? I was really scared cause I had never been shot at before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I looked down at my feet, because I wasn't even, the adrenaline is pumping so hard. I'm not sure if he hit me. Like, I feel it, but I don't understand what's happening. So I looked down at my feet, and I'm like, oh my God. Like, I'm really bleeding. Mm -hmm. So I, like, drop down, and I crawl in somebody's driveway. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't believe you shot me. <laughs> And what is he saying, Tory Lane saying? He's after apologizing. He's he I'm so sorry. Please don't tell nobody I'll give y'all a million dollars if y'all don't say nothing. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, what are you offering me money right now? Help me. Like, and if you sorry, just help me. Like Alright guys, so you seen that, you heard that. Now, throughout the interview with uh Gail King, in which uh, Meg Thee Stallion is crying, but actually not crying, right? Maybe there's, like, tear-resistant makeup or something going on here, right? Maybe that's what these women wear during these interviews. I'm not sure. But uh, she made numerous demonstrably false claims, okay? That's not to say that she lied about the whole thing. I'm just saying these are things she lied about. But allegedly, um, she got back in the vehicle after being shot, which is strange, right? If somebody shoots you in the foot... Uh, I don't think I'm getting back in a vehicle with that person, but she decided to anyways against her better judgment. Again, women like this tend to make a series of bad decisions, right? <laughs> but um, they got stopped by the police uh, eventually because of, of the gunshots. They got stopped by the police, and uh, apparently she lied to the police about being shot and who actually shot her. She actually told the police that she stepped on glass, okay? So she didn't tell the police that uh, Tory Lane shot her initially, and she said that she lied to the police because she was afraid that she might get the George Floyd treatment, right? She went with the woke victimhood answer, uh, saying that, hey, as a black person, I'm afraid of the police. I don't trust the police. There was a gun in the vehicle. So therefore, uh, I I'm going to lie to the police and not tell them what actually happened, even though you allegedly were in danger and you just got shot. Uh, she wasn't actually forced to admit um you know that she got shot until she went to the hospital and the doctor said that it's, it's not glass in your foot it's actually bullet fragments and at that point she actually admitted to uh being shot okay so not only did she, she lie about those things she also lied about having a se sexual history with uh toy lanes in which in court she admitted that she actually did have a sexual history with him despite telling gail king that she didn't um and then she played a victimhood card to say well uh, I'm just sick and tired of people saying that I'm lying, right? And they're more focused on the fact that I had sex with him or my sexual history than the fact that I got shot, <laughs> right? Uh, basically trying to play the victimhood card, trying to make us feel sorry for the fact that um, she has made a career out of being a promiscuous woman, okay? And because of her promiscuous activity, she's dealing with sketchy characters like Tory Lane in the first place, uh, which kind of led to her being put in this situation, uh, she wants us to feel bad about that, okay? Uh, because uh, allegedly, allegedly, uh, Tory Lanez was not only just banging her out, clapping her cheeks, uh, he was also uh, banging out her friend, her best friend who was also in the car. And that is what the argument was over. The argument was over the fact that Tory Lane was smashing both of these chicks, right? As they were smashing everybody else in the industry as well too, okay? They were smashing everybody. They were sleeping around with everybody. And Tory Lanez was just one of the dudes that just was along for the ride, smashing these chicks, and um, they was arguing about that until eventually the argument turned into about their music careers. And apparently Tory Lanez was allegedly jealous of Meg Thee Stallion's music career. And for whatever reason, that ended up with Tory Lanez allegedly shooting her. Now, Tory Lanez is denying that he actually shot her, okay? Uh, gun residue was found on uh, Tory Lanez and on uh, Meg Thee Stallion's best friend. However, the DNA test for whether or not, you know, Tory Lanez's uh, DNA was actually on the gun uh came out inconclusive and i believe that Meg the stallion's best friend uh i don't think that the police 
uh, decided to DNA test her to see if uh, she actually uh, had the gun or she shot the gun, uh, which is what Tory Lane's defense is. He's alluding to the fact that, hey, I didn't do it. Uh, maybe her best friend did it, <laughs> right? That's basically what his defense was. Uh, however, there is some evidence that came out, like, for example, uh, Meg Thee Stallion's best friend sending a text message to uh, Meg Thee Stallion's bodyguard saying, help, uh, Tory shot Meg or whatever, uh, which they say key piece of evidence that probably is the reason why this guy got found guilty, okay? Um, so that's the gist of what happened. Again, I'm not here to give out all the details, to point out all the inconsistencies. I'm not here to do any of that. I'm here to tell you generally what happened and then give my opinion, right? So now we're going to read a little bit about uh, this, okay, and, and what may happen to Tory Lanez, what he's facing, and then I'm going to give you guys my takeaway and be done with this. A jury has found that Tory Lanez is guilty on all charges for shooting Megan Thee Stallion in July 2020. Lanes was found guilty of one count, one felony count, each of assault with a semi-automatic firearm, personal use of a firearm, and carrying a loaded, unregistered firearm in a vehicle. He was also convicted of an additional felony count of discharging a firearm with gross negligence. A source told page six he was remanded on the spot following the verdict. Megan's attorney, Alex Spiro, tells page six, quote, the jury got it right. I am thankful there's justice for Meg. According to TMZ, the Talk To Me rapper is now facing 22 years in prison and the outlet says there is a strong likelihood he will be deported back to Canada where he was born. Yeah, so this guy's a Canadian citizen. You're in the United States and you're moving this recklessly, <laughs> right? This is what I'm talking about. His sentencing was uh, will be scheduled for a later date. The trial took place in Los Angeles, was filled with emotional and at times controversial testimonies. All right, so that's the gist of this, right? That's the gist of this. Now, what is the takeaway here? It's exactly what I said at the beginning of this video. Um, Toy Lanes uh, ended up in a situation that unfortunately a lot of men end up in when you are chasing vagina like this, okay? You're smashing out two best friends. Right. And you all know how, you know, drama goes between, you know, women and their friends. And especially if you having sex with both of them at the same time, uh, there was nothing good that was going to happen in that situation. <laughs> right. Nothing good was going to happen. That was not going to come to a good ending. OK, um, this guy should have exited himself out of the situation after uh, Kylie Jenner's party because apparently they were arguing at the party and they got kicked out of the party because they was arguing about it and the argument continued in the car. Um, when you see a situation like that escalating out of control, what do you get out of continuing to remain in that situation? You don't get anything out of it. There's no positive outcome to continuing to remain in that situation, especially when alcohol is involved because apparently Meg Stallion was drunk, right? They all probably were drunk, okay? What do you get out of it? You don't get anything positive out of it. And when situations like this happen with women, okay, when it escalates to this type of drama, it is best to exit yourself from the situation as fast as possible. Trust me, I know, right? Because as a man, you never get the benefit of the doubt, okay? Even though Meg Thee Stallion clearly was lying, okay, all her story was inconsistent, but for whatever reason, the jury believed that, hey, the one thing that she got right that she wasn't lying about is Tory Lane shooting her. Okay, it's just, just, just so happened how it went. Um, I'm just saying, this is how it happens most of the time. Because again, as a man, in situations like this, you're always going to be expected to exit the situation. You're always going to be expected to take the high road. And if it's your testimony, your story versus a woman's story, the public, the mainstream liberal media, they're always going to side with the woman. Every single time. Every single time. You are a rapper, right? You have something to lose. And you're here, okay? You're, you're here in another country that, that's not your country. You have a whole lot to lose. And you're riding around in a car with a gun, okay, that you're not supposed to have in Los Angeles, California, you know, places that have a very strict gun laws. You're riding around with a weapon and vehicle with two drunk women that you've been having sex with. Um, why did you put yourself in that situation in the first place? Again, th this is how people got to think, especially if you're a man with a lot to lose, right? If you got some type of clout, you make a whole lot of money, <laughs> you know, you got a whole lot to lose. You got to move differently. You can't move like this. You can't put yourself in those type of situations. There's no excuse. That's why, like, even though I don't really believe <laughs> Meg Thee Stallion, I don't know who actually shot her, but I can't feel but so bad for Tory Lanez because it's like, bruh, 
there's so much <laughs> vagina out there in the world, especially for somebody like a rapper. Um, why lose your life? Why risk your life over this? Was it really worth staying in that situation because you were smashing both of them? I'm, I'm just saying, what, what did you get out of it? You, didn't, you don't get anything out of it. So, again, I only can feel so bad for the guy. I mean, I, I do feel bad to a certain extent, right? Because she literally lied about the whole thing. But, but I know that, hey, as a man, you're never going to get the benefit of the doubt. You will always lose in the situations, which is why you have to exit yourself from the situation. You don't even give it an opportunity to happen. After that party, he should be like, all right, I'm out, <laughs> right? I'm out. You know, he should have had a trusted person with him to gauge those situations and to say, look, do what's best for me. I'm out. This is not going to end well. Let me go. Right. It's never worth getting these arguments with women like this, going through the drama, going down a rabbit hole, especially when you're in a situation like this guy was in. It's just I mean, hey, it, I mean, it is what it is, man. It, it really is. Um, I, I think that's the takeaway here. It, it, it really is. I mean, she's going to, you know, get her boohoo, her tears, and it's going to be, you know, protect black women and all that stuff. But, <laughs> you know, again, Tory Lanez, he kind of bought it on himself. He kind of bought it on himself. Uh, this is just how you have to move. You get, you can't move like that in, in 2022 uh, as a man in this type of environment. He, he should have known better. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.